spent Tesla money on shit like hookers and Disneyland and stupid shit. Hey, so what hey, the I got fuck? a question. Do any of these hookers be willing to come on the Local Live show and talk about their experiences? No. Well, why would you want to do that to the poor woman? Because why that's fucking interesting. No, none of them. You know, it would be a lot better than sleeping with you, though. What do you mean, do that to I'm a not, poor woman? I mean, I'm just I saying, like, I was sitting there thinking, like, two, two hundred thousand dollars on hookers. Like, there's so many women out there that's like gargled on Boogie's cock. One of them has to be willing to talk for oh, fees. No, he spent educational said, money on hookers. Think he, he's I, talking about 10k being a lot of money, bro. You're the dude. If I spend two hundred thousand dollars on hookers, I would neck myself. Okay, yeah, I would too. Not out of shame, too. just alone. I also, I, spend I, can't neck myself. Money. I can't neck myself because I'm too fat to hang myself. But um, if I had actually spent two hundred thousand dollars on hookers, I would too. Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Dude, I would love to have the book hookers on. That's 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 great A content. Well, again, I never did the hooker thing. And how about the one that you that, that quit hooking? Wait, you never did the hooker thing? Wait, hooking. what? Now you didn't do hookers? I did sugaring, which is a very different thing. If you're familiar with the hot no, that's still you see what you mean. They're still hookers. No, it's completely what are you different. What talking about? Completely different. A lot of these women I never even slept with. There's no sex involved. I can be a hooker. For Why? Are you fucking kidding me, you fat, dumb piece of shit? You paid women to fucking hang out with you? No. <laughs> Yes, he did. Oh, I remember my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Them oh, my God. I bought them dinners. You I paid women. You paid women I to hang out trips. with you. Oh, my God. No, nobody... Very few women First thought all, like a chick. Okay, okay, Very okay. Listen to me. Like listen to me. Chick. Stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. Stop talking. You're going to listen to what I'm saying right now. It is really, really, really fucking pathetic to go online and like simp to like Pokimane. It's even more pathetic to pay for some girls only fans. It's even more fucking I'm pathetic to like pay for sex. But it's got to be the absolute no, most fucking pathetic thing I've ever heard that you're fucking paying a woman to go hang out out with you in real life that is fucking pathetic which is not what i did of that course, is that would be very so pathetic. fucking gay dinner is hanging out with them what did you just buy the fucking entree and leave what i'm saying is we had dinner we sat around and we talked and then afterwards they went home there was no cash i didn't like fork over 200 dollars thank you for going to dinner with me that shit doesn't happen that's not what sugaring is you guys have so no understanding just, of the hobby. So you just buy them shit just to just to hang out with them. So how did you spend forty thousand dollars on hookers, but it's really forty thousand dollars on meals for hookers? Because Make it, I took them on trips because I went places with them. You know, I fucking oh, hung out with me, them. Yes, you told a me a good number of spent, them I had sex with. You told me that you uh, took one of their kids and put them in like boarding school. Did you fuck not that boarding way? school? I paid for online classes specialized for autism kids. And it cost me about 2K, and I'd known that one for over a year at that point. How much money did you they, spend on the hookers? Well, on hookers, zero. On sugaring, across five years, maybe... I mean, okay, okay does it count for... Do I have to count my plane ticket, my ticket to the... Yes, uh, yes, you have to count plane? everything. Okay, so then, yeah, 40K is probably... Close okay. Across so what, wait, hold. On. Why would you bitch about the Tesla this hard, like a fucking salty Steve? When I'm on Tesla.com and it's twenty nine thousand dollars starting to go by. I, I, get to, I can tell I you why you can bitch about the Tesla. Out. Let me let me answer this one. Let me answer this one. Yeah. You bitch about the Tesla because all that crypto money he put in, he could have literally had that Tesla mm -hmm. Model X and still had a tangible asset at the end of the day, instead of that I fucking crypto a, shit he lost I his money on. Tesla to make you have an understanding. That again, ten thousand dollars may not be a lot of money to you. Answer. To it people, is a lot of money to me. What am I? No, what, why would you say? Why, why would you keep saying that? Why did you say? Because you said it. Ten thousand dollars is a lot. Say, of money. I said ten thousand dollars is a lot of money on this show. Buggy. I just said that at your age, ten thousand, you should be. You should have had that investment. Hey. It shouldn't have been as financially well, harming you. You said that night. I, was, I don't know why you would do it. Ten thousand dollars. Actually, I wouldn't know. Because let me finish my thing before you talk over me. You built your audience for how many years? 17, 18. So you think the long term reputational damage of scamming your audience for $10,000 is outweighed again, by the time happened. you build? No, let me, finish. Let, me finish. let me finish. Let me finish. Building your audience for 17 years, the long term reputational damage to you and your standing with the rest of the people in the community is worth the $10,000 that you earned through this scam? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you mm -hmm. think raping every fan you have up the asshole was worth a penny? Or you didn't do that either, did you? What? You didn't do that. Hold on. Why would you? 
Why are you bringing up rape into this? What? I don't know. Okay, okay whatever. Fuck? Stabbing them. Sexual stabbing every... the fuck yeah, up. Okay, what about stabbing? What about, what about money? Stabbing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about stabbing? Oh, what about what? stabbing then? What yeah, I don't stabbing? think stabbing anybody in my That's audience is good. Buggy, 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 listen. And listen, and buggy, and stop, I, stop, I stop, 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 stop. Listen to me. I have a very direct question to you. And before you answer, I want you to think about the answer. Because when you lie about certain things like that and people find out the truth then you get into big trouble. So answer this honestly. You've met a lot of women doing sugaring, right? And these are women that are looking for older men to take care of them. Is your current girlfriend someone that you met from sugaring? Absolutely not. And I can tell you this without a doubt because Kiwi Farms has done everything they could to prove it, and there is no proof. Every other woman I ever introduced you you guys to, they were able to find profiles. They were able to find reality. They could find, like, a history of it. They have scoured the did entire they internet ex-wife? to try to prove that. Yeah, so yeah, how, did, so how, did, how did you meet? Ex-wife. How did you meet this woman? What's the I first, showed you this. It's on Instagram. What's the first time you that. spoke to her? Instagram. Uh, she wrote me in February 2023. I said hello. Then in November of 2023, we started talking, and then we met for the first time. And because uh, sorry, every so, uh, yeah. every every time that she's ever spoke, she goes, "I want a guy that's going to take care of me. I want someone." No, she's never said that. She's never yeah, she that. has. What do you mean? Not on this show. Not not to me. Not on the show. So I don't know where you're hearing it, that. It just to me, I would guess as an outsider looking in that like this is that she's a sugar. It's a sugaring thing. Yeah, well, everybody's going to assume that, but it's it's just not factually real. Okay. Yeah. But you, weren't you hitting on ring girls at the fight, right? And like the fight press conference, yeah, like you're walking yeah, around with like a hundred dollar bill in your hand, like you're the most beautiful oh, girl you, I've ever you seen. You made up the hundred dollar bill thing. I was just no, I, was I just, did not. No. Yes, you, you did. With a girl and you were flirting with other women. That's fucking... no. This was during the fight. I wasn't with Desi. You dumb shit. You said you started talking to her in February 2023. The fight happened. We in said May. hello for the first time. We didn't start dating until June of 2023. The fight happened in what the beginning of 2022. She said hello before the fight, and I said hello back. We didn't start talking till November, and then we didn't start dating till June.